Hi, I'm Kathy from the Meriden New Britain Berlin YMCA, and I'm here today to show you some exercises to improve hip mobility and stability. These exercises can be done alone, or you can do them in combination with the other silver sneakers routines that you're working on at home. I'll be cueing for good posture, breathing, and hydration. Remember to get your drinks of water. As always, be sure that you've checked with your doctor to make sure that you can do these exercises, especially if you have hip limitation or you have been cleared to exercise after hip surgery. So let's begin with four exercises for hip flexibility. Sit in a chair, make sure you have a sturdy chair that won't move and your feet should be able to rest on the floor. You can bring your palms down onto your thighs. We're gonna do alternating heel raises. So feet on the floor, leave your toe, lift your heel and press down. Other foot and press down. Remember to breathe as you lift and press down. And that's two, lift your heel, lift your heel. That's three and lift and press and lift and press, and that's four. Take a breath in, and exhale out. Next, we'll be doing extensions. We'll be doing alternating legs. Take your right or your left, starting, it doesn't matter which one, heel down, bring it back in. Extend, bring it back in. Extend your leg, bring it back in. Heel to the floor, bring it back in. Again, and back in, extend, back in, extend, switch sides. Let's do one more. Extend and in, and extend and in. Our next exercise, we're going to lift one leg, extend out, show me the bottom of your shoe, bring it back in and down. Other side, lift, extend, bring in and down. Lift, extend, bring in and down. Lift, extend, back in and down. Lift, extend, back in and down. Lift, extend, back in. Can we do one more? Lift. Extend, bring it in and down. Last one here, lift, extend, bring it in and down. Ah, take a breath in and out. All right, so if you're on the floor, you're gonna take one leg and just turn it out to the side. So the bottom of your shoe is going to be going towards the side of your other shoe and bring it in and open and bring it in and open and bring it in. Open and in. We're gonna do the other side. Open and in, open and in, three and in, four and in. So you can do that exercise one side at a time or you can actually do two together. Open and down, two and down, three, feet down. Last time, open and down. Take a breath in and exhale. How about a drink of water? Go get a drink of water and come on back and our next series of exercises will be for hip mobility. Hi, I'm Kathy. Welcome back. Next, we're going to do four seated exercises to improve hip flexibility. So again, you have your sturdy chair, feet on the floor, sit nice and tall, chest up, chin level with the floor. Your hands can rest, palms down on your thighs. We're going to take a breath in and we're gonna come slightly forward, exhale, 
and hold. And come on back up. Let's do that again. Breathe in. Hinge forward slightly. Hold your stretch. And breathe in. Hinge forward, breathe out. Stretch. Breathe in, come up. Exhale, come forward, part way. And come on up. Good. Now turn to the corner of your chair. It's kitty corner. It's a saddle stretch. So feet are on the floor. You're going to press those baby toes down onto the floor. You're going to breathe in and come forward, stretching your inner thigh. It's a great stretch for the inner thigh. And come on up, breathe in. And exhale. Come up. Move forward. And up. Last time. Breathe in and exhale, come forward. Let's hold the stretch. And come on up, stretching the inner thigh. So now we're gonna to turn to the side of the chair. Keep one hand on the back of the chair to anchor yourself. And you're gonna drop your knee down. And you have the option, your knee can be forward a little bit. It can be straight down or it can be a little bit farther back. Farther back, you'll get a deeper stretch in your quad. So we're opening up our hip flexors. We're stretching our quads. We're gonna look this way, arm down, and just hold the stretch. And we can also change, this will be our, our fourth option here. We can, with our hand on the back of the chair, we can tilt to the side, get a side stretch in. And come back up. Let's do that again. Side stretch. And come back up. Option, arm up by the side of your head. Breathe in and exhale. Come over, hold the stretch. And up, and over again, and come on up, and arm comes down. We're going to turn back to the front of the chair, and we're going to do the other side. So sitting sideways in your chair, one hand on the back of the chair, and again, you can have a slight angle as you drop your leg forward. Your knee can be straight down or it can be farther back for a deeper stretch in your quad. Hold the stretch. Let's add a side stretch. Come back. You can do that four times if you want to. Or option, you could bring your arm up and tip over, arm up, more of a side stretch. And come up and down. You could do that two times or four. Come back around to the front of the chair. Take a deep breath and exhale. And let's get a drink of water and come back for our next set of exercises. Here are examples of squat progressions from a seated to a standing position. You do not have to progress. You can stay and just do the seated squats and stop right there. Do what's right for you. All right, let's begin. Sitting in your sturdy chair, feet down on the floor, palms rest on your thighs, chest is tall. Take a breath in, 
Hinge slightly forward, exhale, and press those feet down onto the floor. Come back. Inhale. Slightly forward, exhale, press your feet down onto the floor as if you're going to stand up out of your chair, but don't. Press. Come back. Come forward, press your feet. One more time. Breathe in and slightly forward. Press your feet down as if you're going to rise up out of the chair, but stay seated and come on back. These are sometimes called pressure squats. So you can do more of those too if you want to, or you can progress to the next uh, exercise. We're going to sit in our chair again. This time we're going to come up just a little bit out of the chair and come back down. We're going to do that again, come up a little bit out of the chair and come back down. Ready? Take a breath in, feet on the floor, come up, hold, know where your chair is, come back down. In this exercise, be sure you know where your chair is. You can do that by just putting your hand, you'll feel comfortable, and your chair will be right there. Let's do that again. Breathe in, come up part way, hold. Notice that your weight is on your heels and know where your chair is, come back down. This time we're gonna come up all the way out of the chair and we're only gonna come down part way right there, hold. Come on back up, come down, hold, come on up. We're gonna go all the way back down to the chair. So hand, know where your chair is, come down. Good. Now here's another option. One foot could be a little farther behind, one in front. And the one in front, that's 80% of your weight. Sometimes when we're rising up out of a chair, we're, uh, we do have one foot forward and your weight is uneven. So this is a good one to practice. So this is called a kickstand position. We're going to take a breath in and rise up. It's a little harder than the one we did before. And know where your chair is again, sit down. And again, come on up. And know where your chair is, sit down. So you wanna do this maybe on, with both sides, okay? I'm gonna to progress to a little bit different. I will switch. If your feet are a little farther apart, this time though, the difference with this is that your weight is equal on both feet, both toe and heel. So now it's not the 80-20. Equal weight distributed, take a breath in and rise up out of your chair. This is harder than the one before too. Know where your chair is as you come back down. One more time, stand up and sit down. So again, feel free to stay with the pressure squats, kickstand position, 80%, 20%, farther apart, equal weight, feet down rising up halfway, coming down halfway. Do what's right for you. Let's go get a drink of water and come back for our next set of exercises. Here are some exercises for hip strength. Normally in the gym, we would be using a resistance band with handles. I'm just gonna show you in case you have these at home, what to do with the resistance band. And then I'm gonna put the resistance band aside because I'm thinking that many of you don't have it. And you could do all these exercises without props. They're still beneficial. So if you're using the resistance band with the handles, you would grab the handles. You'd step on the band. You're seat, this is seated in a chair. Feet down to the floor, uh, firmly on top of the band, crisscross in front. Hold the handles. You switch to make a big X. Bring the resistance bands back and place your hands, palms down, on your hips right here like this. So this is if you're using your resistance band that you have at home. But as I said before, many of you don't have that, so I'm gonna put the band away and show you how you can do these exercises without any props at all. We're gonna sit tall in our sturdy chair, feet down to the floor. We'll start with our palms again, resting on our thighs. And feet are about hip width, shoulder width apart, just like this. And first of all, we're gonna take one heel out and bring it back in, out and in out and in and out, other side, four and three, two, 
and one. You could actually do both heels together. One, two, three, and last one, four. Now the toes. Toe out on one side, two, three, and four. Switch, one, and two, and three, and four. And together, one, two, three, and four. Feet are back together. We're gonna step out on one side and come in. Step out on the other side and come in. Step out, come in, step out, come in. I'm creating my own resistance here. And out and in, step out and in, and out and in. And of course, if you had the resistance band, you would feel that a lot more. If you do this exercise, finish by rising up out of your chair and sit back down. All right, go get a sip of water and come back for some hip exercises combining coordination. Here are some exercises combining your hips and coordination. You might want to put some music on for this one, but you don't have to. We're going to start by just walking in place. One, two, three, four. Mambo right front and back. Two, three, and four. Out, out, and in. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in. Last time, out, out, in. March in place. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Left foot front or the other one. So if you started on one foot, just switch to the other one. And front and back. Walk in place. One, two, three. Change to one, two, three, four, tap. One, two, three, tap. Two, three, tap. Keep the tap. Or one, two, three, lift. One, two, three, lift. One, two, three, lift. Walk in place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mambo side. One, two. Push off that foot. Three, four, other side. One, two, three, walk in place. One, two, three, tap, tap, tap. Four, two, three, just walk it out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, out, out, and in, out. Out, in, in, out, out. Three, walk in place. One, two, three, four, tap. One, two, three, four, tap. Two more. Last one. Mambo back. Two, three, four, switch feet. One, two. Three, one more. Four, out, out, and in. Out, 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 in, in. Out, out, in, in. Walk in place. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more, out, out, other foot. Out, out, in, in. Two, three, last time. Four. Give me a hip roll, two, three, other way, one, two, three, four. Good job. Go get a drink of water and come back for some more exercises. Hello. Here are some variations for standing lunges. You can have your chair nearby. Feel free to keep your hand on the chair, or if you feel more stable, you can take your hand away from the chair. So we're going to stand to one side of the chair. We'll be doing both sides, so you can choose what you want to do. Just where you're standing, the leg that's uh, next to the chair is forward and the other leg is back. You want to take a big step back because your knee wants to always be over your ankle, not forward hiding your toes. So step back, heel up, and we're just going to bring ourselves down. Now you're going to decide 
how low you should go. This is three and four, one, two, three. You could even try one hand off the chair, four, and then step back in and together. It's okay if you wobble, that's just your balance system working. Let's go to the other side of the chair. So again, the leg that's close to the chair is forward. The other leg is back. Get it way back there, scooch back, scooch back. Make sure your knee tracks over your ankle, not over your toes. We'll do eight, one, two, if you have your hand on your hip, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hand up, push yourself off, climb back together. Let me show you a variation of this too. So we're back to the original side, leg close to the chair is forward, the other leg is back, scooch it back. And before we just went up and down. Remember your knee over your ankle. This time, when you go down, you could come back up, step, down, step together. Three, we'll do one more. And four, other side. If you feel more comfortable starting in the position with your leg up, or you could start here. Again, just make sure you take a big enough step back. We're gonna step way back. One, come forward two, three, one more, four, and up, and that's it for your standing lunge progression using the chair or hands off the chair. That's great exercise for balance too, and uh, it's good for fall prevention. Go get a sip of water and come back for more exercises. Here are some standing balance exercises that use the hips in a variety of ways. So you're going to need to have your chair here. You might find that you don't use the chair at all, but you have it here to put your hands on. And actually, I think I would suggest that you move behind your chair. You can Then you could have two hands on there too. Just step back far enough to give yourself some room. For purposes of the video, I'm going to come to the side of the chair so that you can see the things that I do. So you're going to start standing nice and tall, chest up, chin level with the floor, shoulders up, back and down. And you can stand right here with your hand on the chair, first of all, and just move it as we go along. We're going to start by walking in place, arms moving at your side, or on the chair if you need it. Four more, three, two, and one. We're going to go on to a slow heel forward and in, heel forward and in, heel forward and in, and heel. We're doing four more, one, and two, and three, and four. Toe forward, toe forward, hold, and hold. We're doing four more, one, two, three, toe back now, hand on the chair if you need it, two, three, four, five, six, I'm experimenting, seven, and eight. Good, walk, walk, walk in place. We're gonna put the heel toe together, heel front, toe back, heel front, toe back, heel front, toe back, heel front, toe back, heel front, toe back and together. So do that again, same thing on the other side. Start with the other foot, heel front, and the other one, toe back. It's like the rock move, the rocking horse move. All right, so we're gonna progress on, and again, you're behind the chair, okay? So you have both hands on the chair if you need it. I'm back to the side. I'm gonna put one toe forward, and arms can be down at the side, chest is lifted, and this might be balancing up, or you have your hand on the chair. You're also gonna experiment with arm positions. So maybe one hand on the chair, one arm out. Maybe both arms out, and this is balance enough. Good, 
You can also be crisscross. You can be hands in prayer position, elbows drawn into your side. Hand on the chair, one arm up. Maybe both arms up, palms facing. And back down. Now I'm gonna say that this might be balance enough. Or the next thing that we would progress to would be from toe, we would lift the toe off the floor. You can lift it a little bit. Ideally, you might wanna try and get your thigh parallel to the floor. If you have that mobility, foot is flexed. And you could balance just like that. So find your challenge, hand on the chair, arm out, arm up. Bring it in, both arms out. It's okay to wobble. It's also okay to tap down. Okay, so you can work on your balance system by tapping down and down and up and down and walk, walk, walk. And you would do that also on the other side. If you want to just want to try a few. First toe, toe down. Crisscross over. Arms out, arms up, just like that. Feeling brave, hand on the chair first, lift. Good, hold it. Tapping down if you need it. Good. All right, I'm gonna bring my arm down. How about this one? Open out to the side and back in and down and lift. Open out and in and down and walk it out. Kind of like a little roll. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna do the same thing, a little bit different. This time, toe behind, toe behind, good. Stand tall, chest up. How about if you bend and take your foot off, doing a little hamstring curl, hold, arms out, experiment, one up, tap down, hand on the chair if you need it, hold again, and down. Other side two, do both sides. Start with the toe down. Arms the way you want them. One up, one down. Out. Hand on the chair if you need it. Curl. Trying to keep your knees in the same plane. Okay, but curling back. Tapping down. Floor. You can even be out at an angle a little bit. Not too high, protect your back and bring it back in. Let's do a little hip roll again. All right, one more thing for balance, using the hips in a variety of way. I'm going to come to the front of the chair and we're going to walk in a straight line. So try and put heel in front of toe, heel in front of toe, Heel in front of toe. You could turn around or you can walk backwards too. To make that a little more difficult, instead of taking a wide step, have that heel and toe touch, heel and toe touch, heel and toe touch, heel and toe touch like a tightrope walker, and you're back and finished with some standing balance exercises using the hips in a variety of ways. How about a sip of water and come back to finish? That concludes our exercises for hip mobility and stability. We did exercises where we increased flexibility, we did coordination, and we did balance. I hope you enjoyed these exercises. You can do them alone or you can incorporate them into your other silver sneakers routines that you're practicing at home. I hope you'll visit our website, the MeridanYMCA.org or nbbymca.org. I'm Kathy, and I hope to see you soon in our Silver Sneakers classes. Stay healthy, stay well. Thanks for listening. Please also look for emails from Joan Goodman, Membership and Marketing Director for the Meriden New Britain Berlin YMCA. These emails will include links for exercise videos, 
from the Y and Silver Sneakers, how to find senior health and wellness resources on our website, how to register for the online presentations, which will take place of our lunch and learn meetings and more. Also, if you watch a class on our Facebook or YouTube channels, please be sure to like them and add your name in a comment so we can see who took the class. Thank you, stay well and healthy.